Good afternoon to everybody here. I want to say congratulations to Queen Maddie. Hope everything uh, goes well. You deserve it. Um, want to say thanks to uh, Mr. John Ray Chevalier, who's our athletic director, does a great job. Um, as the 2018 season is quickly approaching us, uh, you know, it gives us coaches uh, the opportunity, which is pretty rare, to get together and kind of share some things, some big changes in the offseason, some things that really, you know, didn't change too much. Uh, one thing for us is we got a new coach, um, Coach Fred Menard, who, uh, you know, he was coached for a, lo a lot of years uh, in Notre, uh, Notre Dame and other spots. And, um, you know, whenever he joined the staff, he was like, man, you know, this first time I've been on a staff with, you know, we had staff of this many young people, you know, and I said, well, coach, you can't be that old. I mean, how old are you? He said, well, I'm not going to tell you my age, but I'll just let you know I've been coaching since the day she was still six. So uh, <laughs> that kind of gave you an idea about that. Um, then we have to replace, you know, another coach. Uh, one of coach had uh, parted ways with us, Coach Bart Vitt. He's now at Turlins with uh, Coach Dane, and he kind of had to learn the tricks of the trade over there. Um, he was trying to impress uh, Dane uh, one night, and we were talking, going back and forth, and he was trying to make the his practice sheet and the play sheet. He was trying to add all kind of color to it, you know, and make it all elaborate and all this stuff. So uh, he said, man, I spent like a day and a half working on this. I really wanted to, you know, get it right. And he said, uh, so I emailed it to Dane and I uh, said, you know, well, what do you think, man? I mean, you know, add some color, you know, we can get this to the coaches. Dane just uh, sends it back. Sorry, brother, no printer on campus. So <laughs> kind of uh, wasted your time with that one. Um, Coach Vince was talking earlier about a, a parish in-service that we had to do, uh, the St. Martin Parish coaches. And... Um, you know, it's not only the kids sometimes that'll make you scratch your head, but in this certain case, it was actually uh, that we had a group of doctors, a panel of doctors that were uh, there, and they were talking about hydration, staying cool, that type of thing. And I don't know if it was Coach Vance or it was one of us that kind of raised our hand, asked her about, well, what is your opinion on Florida water? So she kind of was kind of thinking like this, kind of trying to gather her thoughts. She said, well, I don't think I've seen any studies where Florida water is really any different from the water over here, and it probably doesn't taste that much different either. I was like, oh, ma'am, I beg to differ on that uh, thing, because uh, you obviously haven't been to Cecilia. Um, um, coaches, man, we get the most criticism. Uh, obviously, you know, you have to have thick skin in order to be a coach. We all know that. Uh, but sometimes, you know, the criticism comes from, you know, the most criticism, at least for me, is going to come from the home front. For example, like my wife, okay, uh, after the scrimmage, you know, we were at home watching TV, and she brings up, she said, you know, Logan, I know this probably isn't the best time to bring this up, but, you know, defense, we we probably got to, we have to pick it up a little bit, especially your D-line. I mean, what, what's going on? I mean, what kind of drills are you doing? Of course, Keynes isn't going to be too happy with you. And I'm like, look, I don't tell you what ingredients to put in your food. I don't tell you what laundry detergent to buy. I don't tell you what dishwashing liquid uh, to use. She said, well, why the heck would you? You never do help with any of that stuff anyway. You know, so it's like, oh, all right, all right. Well, I guess uh, you got a point there, but you know, give me a little bit of break. Give me a little break. Um, now, freshmen, brings me to the, our freshmen, okay? We all, you know, they sometimes tend to, you know, not think uh, very well, you know, they're new and everything. They're kind of learning the ropes. Well, um, we would discuss, we'll talk, I know a couple coaches were talking about huddle earlier. And our freshman coach, he put sign-up sheet, which you have to add the players, you know, we've got to get their demographic information. Um, basically, you know, you have, who, you know, cell phone number and provider underneath the cell phone number. Well, whenever our coach took the page off, you know, every single person, every single freshman had the same provider. It wasn't AT&T, wasn't Verizon, it was Mama. <laughs> so it's like, all right, well, again, maybe we have to reword that. Um, and it's just a kind of, and another true story we had, uh, as far as our kids, um, we have a couple kids I was taping up in the, um, uh, in our training room and, you know, kids, they like to mess with each other, especially in the locker room. So we have two guys that are buddies on the team. And I bet one thing that we all have in common in this room, or most of us have in the, uh, common in this room is we all have eaten pizza village at some point, right? Okay. Probably the majority. Um, now these guys, apparently they had went about two or three nights before. And one of the guys is a real good player, but he, he's really nervous, man. You know, he kind of shakes and, you know, he tends to uh, lose control sometimes. And uh, he said, yeah, coach, he said, we were eating at Pizza Village a couple of nights. He said, man, we ordered a Landry special. He said, man, by the time that thing, uh, but before he could even eat it, that thing turned into a dupe special real quick. <laughs> so uh, 
But anyway, uh, Kiwanis, I appreciate y'all uh, having me. Um, wish best of luck to all the coaches and uh, appreciate y'all.